I'm sure most of you have heard of the medical illness called gout, which is characterized by hot and swollen joints, typically in the big toe. You've probably also come across sufferers of gout coming to you and say it's because the uric acid in the bloodstream is getting too high. Interestingly, the uric acid level in humans is much, much, much higher than other mammals because our enzymes, one of our enzymes that's supposed to help get rid of uric acid from our body, has stopped working properly because of mutation in the process of evolution. And this is also the reason why chimpanzees and gorillas do not suffer from gout, but we do as humans naturally because of the high uric acid level. In modern medicine, we see uric acid differently because not only does it cause gout, but it's also linked with the increased risk of coronary artery disease or simply arteries of the blood vessels of our heart. Now, the exact biological way that high uric acid leads to coronary artery disease is not fully explored. I became interested in searching for this missing link. Our arteries is actually a complex biological system. And in it, there's a layer called the vascular smooth muscle cells, which is responsible for contracting and relaxing our arteries. It's controlling the amount of blood flow to our vital organs. In my research, with the help of ultrasound, I've discovered that in uh, human subjects with a higher uric acid level, the ability of the uh, blood vessels to relax under stimulus is also poorer. And this leads to me hypothesizing that high uric acid level is causing damage to these vascular smooth muscle cells. And the extent of damage can be measured by the amount of protein in our bloodstream called the MCP1. To confirm or test this hypothesis, I'm currently conducting a randomized control study in which I'm giving a drug to uh, patients with a high uric acid level in order to lower down the uric acid level. And I'm hoping to see if this will actually um, restore the ability of the vascular smooth muscle cells to relax the artery in a controlled setting. The meaning of this research is multifold because we're able to understand more about the biological steps linking uric acid with coronary artery disease. And also, this will hopefully give another good example of us translating what we know from basic science in the bench side to clinical medicine in the bedside. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.